Well, good afternoon and a really warm welcome to the baptism of Barbara Evans, which is happening here at Steamer Point. We at the moment are just in front of the beach house. Wonderful afternoon for a baptism. And as you can see behind me, the sea's slightly choppy, which will make this quite exciting, but great that we're able to be here. Of course, under the restrictions that we currently have with COVID, there's only a few of us physically gathered here, um, but it's great that there's an online community here who can watch this live, but also watch the baptism back afterwards as well. Let me explain what we're going to do. So I, in a moment, just going to explain what baptism is and just read a verse of scripture that will help us understand that as well. And then after that, um, Kay's going to come and share um, a scripture verse um, and also uh, pray with Barbara as well. And before Kay does that, Barbara's going to share her story or her testimony with us to tell us how she's come to faith in Christ and why it is she's here with us uh, today. So that's what's going to happen. And then Barbara and I will go into the very choppy seas and hopefully manage to stand up so that we can baptise her this afternoon in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. So great that you're with us. I really hope you can hear us. Um, we'll find out afterwards, but we're going to carry on anyhow. So maybe this is the first time you've seen a baptism. What is baptism? Well, baptism is a way of telling the world outwardly what we've come to believe inwardly. It's a way of declaring our personal faith in Jesus in an outward way. And there are loads of stories that are captured in the scriptures of people who were baptised because they've come to know Jesus as their Lord and as their Saviour. And there's one great story which if you were with us last weekend on our live stream, you might recall we spoke about. It's the story of Philip and an Ethiopian eunuch. And the story basically goes that Philip's travelling along and he bumps into this Ethiopian eunuch, he has a chat with him and he explains the gospel, the good news about Jesus, that Jesus can set us free from our sins and all the things that would stop us being in relationship with God. And this eunuch comes to faith in Jesus. And this is what happens. It says, the eunuch asked Philip, tell me please, who is this prophet speaking about, the prophet he was reading about in the Bible? Is it himself or somebody else? And then Philip began with that very verse of scripture and told him the good news about Jesus. As they travelled along the road, they came to some water and the eunuch said, look, here is water. What can stand in the way of me being baptised? And he gave orders to stop the chariot and then both Philip and the eunuch went down into the water and the eunuch was baptised in the name of Jesus. The Bible is really simple when it comes to baptism. If you believe in Jesus, then you should be baptised as an outward declaration of that faith. And that's what Barbara is going to be doing here with us this afternoon. So I'm going to invite Barbara now to come and share her story, her testimony with us. Um, so do cheer her on, make a few comments if you can in Facebook as well as she comes to share. Barbara, thank you. In 1986, age 39, I was living the high life in Zurich, Switzerland. I was married to a company director, two lovely boys, large house, great social life, cars, skiing, etc. etc. But there was this gnawing inside me. It's a bit like a hunger pang, really, except you never have a hunger pang in Switzerland. So I ignored it for a while. Ignored on. And in 1990, I was in some business at home, and an American client came to see me about this business, and she just happened to say, Have you been to Bible Study Fellowship, Barbara? And I said, I've never heard of it. Oh, you have to be. It's wonderful. Karen bubbled over like a child with a new gift. Must 
have been at work in the evening because I got hooked on this. It was a huge amount of work every week. But the rewards of the discussions that we had were well worth it. But the big thing for me was the light that shone out of these ladies' faces. I wanted something out. So gradually, over a period of three years, I came to accept Christ as my Lord and Saviour. Guess what? The Lord. When I phoned to tell Karen, she cried down the phone and said, I've been praying for that. Did life suddenly become rose tinted? No, it did not. Satan tried every which way to change my mind. Friends, problems, illnesses, financial collapse, and even my husband very skeptical. But every time I went to church, I fell apart. Since then, especially after I was widowed 16 years ago, my faith has been tested. Thank you um, so much. So you might not be able to hear what we're about to do as we go into the water, but I'm going to go with Barbara now into the water. And I'm very simply going to say to Barbara, we've heard your testimony of faith, your story, and now it's our privilege to baptise you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. So come with us. We're going to go in the freezing cold sea and see what happens. Thank you. 